Hi there, Science of Scorpio. This is Kim. I'm going to do a three-month read for you. I'm in the process of a really cool painting, and that is why I might have some art supply or paint still on my hands. So, and I hope you can hear me okay. I have new headphones coming, but they're coming snail mail, of course. Whew. Okay, so Palo Santo. <clears throat> and three months ahead uh, of from today, so August, September, October, opening up for your spirit team to uh, guide us, whoever, whatever that might be. hot day today. So, Scorpio. What you got, Scorpio? What you got for Scorpio? Ooh, that's nice. Wow. Nine, the lady embodiment. It's like embodying this divine feminine energy. And what is that? That is basically receiving and love. And we have timing popping out too with the moon. The embodiment of um, complete femininity, which doesn't have to be a male or a female. It has to do with being open and receptive and loving, but it, you're radiating this. So the inner work's been done, and there's something that you're radiating from your inner that is obviously showing on your outer, on your physical self, and thus making you the embodiment of this energy. It's really beautiful. It comes out in your work, too. We have to be... Um, the Dove of Peace, the Raven of Secrets and Wisdom, and the Swan, because you're just making it look effortless. <clears throat> it looks like timing will pick up, or the timing of things that are trying to manifest, like that, those hidden things that affect timing, that is going to be sped up. And I have the wise owl to a rebirth in consciousness, a rebirth in consciousness. Hmm. Two moons. So the inner work and, and having your consciousness expand, being more self-aware, but to the point where it could, it could have caused like a dark night of the soul when we become very awoke or aware <laughs> and our <clears throat> consciousness expands. But then you get to this place hmm, of healing and the timing being right for there to be massive changes. And I feel like that's what's happening next three months for you, Scorpio. Something about timing for sure. There's the raven. I was saying, it says keeper of secrets. So it's like hidden wisdom, um, knowledge, hidden wisdom. Oh, and then Eridea, your heritage. So... These and the and then the raven again. So th there's kind of like wisdom or knowledge that is being passed on to you right now. I'm gonna relate this to those seed crystal chakras, the the eight through ten that are on top of your crown. Kind of like opening up and giving um, greater access to your spirit team, and so. I, I don't, I mean, I don't know, maybe you feel like you're connected to the Pleiadian, Pleiades, or Pleiadians, in Pleiades, let me say it like that, Arcturians, um, Native Americans, even if you aren't Native American, just because maybe you were in a different life, and you have, or maybe you just like have a spirit guide that is, there's something about the connection and it being stronger, so your protection is here, and there, I don't know, it looks, doesn't it look like that Raven wants to tell that person something. To me, that's what I'm picking up, is that they're wanting to tell you something. There's the spiral, there's the magic. Keeper of secrets, keeper of secrets. 
And then Gaia was on the bottom with healing. Of course, we love Gaia. Hmm. Yeah, they can pick it up on an energy that, or a spirit that is saying, we're trying to tell you something. We're trying to send you a sign, a message. Or knowledge. <clears throat> or downloads. And maybe they already are. And that is your rebirth and consciousness. Is the awareness of these other energies present. That always we're kind of trying to help. But it helps a whole lot more when they're able to communicate more efficiently. Effectively. Effectively. There's a violin version of Blackout Days from Joel Sunny. It's his name on YouTube, and it's so good. <laughs> of course, I can't do that justice. Mm -hmm. Wonder why that came through though. That's interesting. I wonder why that, because it was it was helping me um, paint. It was helping me channel my painting. Blackout days. Blackout days. And then there's fell on black days, the different song sound garden. One, two, three crows or three ravens. You could have seen three crows, three ravens. Okay, we'll add another one. <laughs> four. <laughs> you might see four. You might find yourself wanting to look up, hey, what's the meaning if I see a certain number of crows or a certain number of ravens? What is that meaning? Indifferent. I would look up indifferent. Um cultures just to get in different religions and cultures just to get a different because there's so many different but um biblical there's a lot of meanings and in folklore i mean come on. holding the uh pearl this raven hmm. yeah you have so you have a message that you have kind of like an opening now that's greater that that is stronger from those top chakras above your above your crown and they're trying to give you information to help you because your life's work has begun it's not something little that's why they're here uh it's almost like they're saying that they put you in a leader position for their soul group, you could say, or for whatever it is, you know. Something that's going to be a new experience for you that you've not experienced here because it's coming from like a new energy that's connecting, a new energy. It, it, they, and like I said, could have always been around. Some of these energies might have not always been around. Maybe just popping in it during a very... Um, at epoch time in your life pivotal point or period because your life's work is here this is beautiful we have two blue roses and <clears throat> and it really matches the color of the dress that's on the lady with the embodiment um blue what does blue mean who has a lot to do with the throat chakra right and it has a lot to do with communication but here it's related to two cards that both mean something new to be created that you have not experienced yet. It's a common message here that I've been getting is this not ever experienced yet. Um, not all the readings have been about the life's work beginning though. You hold some kind of pearl. It's like after a completion, usually I see this pearl coming after a dark night of the soul. Um, it's in the mouth. Okay, so ha speaking your words of wisdom, speaking with the throat chakra, a new something into existence, a new experience with the virgin's milk. So the androgen, it's, um, and, th and this could also involve a partner. 
but it could be spirit partnering with you, right? There are two involved here. There are two roses, too. Hmm. And they have the, the card that's like a burning everything off except for that burning desire and passion. Yeah, coming out of a dark night of the soul or like a major transformation. We have the spider. <clears throat> Two. Weaving uh, your web. Connections. Big time. Connections. Creativity. This has also got the color that's reminding me of your root chakra. And so not only are we talking about above, but we're talking about below. And so needs being satisfied and met, earthly needs. And coming from a place of a brand new experience. It looks like it's coming from the stars, doesn't it? I mean, of course, it's, it's, um, it's the Virgin's Melt card. It is, um, it feels innocent, inexperienced in this level of happiness and creativity that doesn't even have a label yet till you decide what to call it. And I think that decision is going to be yours. Look, it's a life commitment, the Hierophant, and an extremely strong connection to Source, Prime Creator, um, Paint, sorry, and the Star because the stars are aligned and there's something you're going to be very well known for regarding this life work. <sighs> Lots of creativity. Lots. Change. I'm using the journey of the sacred bee tarot, which is very appropriate for this reading because there's of your life's work here. I knew these ravens were really important to showing up so much. Okay, what's the issue for their next three months maybe that you want them to know? Scorpio. August, September, October. It's been a time coming, or it feels like it's been a time, like you've had to kind of wait through something. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the reverse. You've been waiting, 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 waiting. And there's a spiritual struggle or battle that's coming to an end. Dang, and the lights flickered as soon as I said that. There's a spiritual battle coming to an end. Like, you're not going to have to fight this um, spirit battle on your own. Not any longer because of the extra help that you're going to get through this wonderful spirit team here that's like even going to help you with timing <clears throat> so this is good you want to feel like you're the only one standing up for yourself trying in spiritual warfare coming out of worry look your your life's work and your life's purpose now that you see something clearly about it with the seven of cups in the reverse you're choosing things that you see clearly as far as like, okay, I'm being pointed here for a reason. It's to relieve you also. It will relieve you of your worries. Five of disc in the reverse. It will help your finances. It will help your health. Um, because of some kind of energies that you're going to be able to release in this. In this. Work. Great work. Your great work. Mm. something's going to change and it has to do with your focus and direction towards this I think towards this life's work it, it whatever it is you know already the high priestess upright you already know like what has to change and what you need to have more focus or determination or direction on it's a very intuitive card um Maybe keeper of secret type of card, right? Be the end of a delay, the end of a delay. You don't see this path because there's this period of inactivity where you're being directed to really take care of your health. 
avoid overdoing it at this time, getting your sleep, getting your rest. Tell me more about the sun in reverse. What is it that we just don't see yet? Oh, that one was on the bottom too. You have two, two knights both in the reverse. Could have to do a Pisces or a Gemini. But it's, it's about getting back out on that path again. There's the hermit in the reverse. Meeting somebody, what you don't see. What, what you don't see or what you're going to see is what's been holding you back. And it has something to do with you coming out of this cave period or hermit period. Isolation, meditation, aloneness, even if you're around others. Yes, that is the true alchemy and healing and balance in life. It's the temperance, the alchemy card. And it's definitely bringing um, some happiness here. Something you're going to feel good about. I definitely feel like something ends. Look, something ends. Ten of Swords, you put it behind you, you're not giving energy to this anymore, whatever this big ending is. And you have this energy here that really resonates with you on your heart space. Like maybe even wanting to compete, saying these two offers or whatever was really delayed or not changing with a person might have to do with their them not being genuine or authentic with themselves about why they're wanting some type of relationship with you. And so coming out of this coming out of the cave, ending something, putting the worst behind you is in the is in the formula here. And then the nine of discs. So it's independence, self-reliance, entrepreneurship, financial gain, windfall. And divine timing is uh, impatience with while, while things are being balanced out for you into this new experience. Whatever this ending had to do with, it was something that you, it was something with somebody that was not very clear. I don't know, because of them with the Seven of Swords. Or the Seven of Swords could be saying two things. It could also be saying to develop strategy here because these two energies just aren't going to cut it. If they're two different people. And you have a king here instead of a knight. But emotionally, being very nice and balanced is, is showing up. Maybe more thought on strategy, um, an awareness of something that you had to end or that you have to end. Friends, this is good though. This is upright. Friendship, group, soul tribe, contact, meet in person. It might have to do with this King of Cups. I have a yes. I have it. It's time. So it's time. There's somebody, maybe maybe this person only contacts you on like social media or something or internet. And they're like, no, it's time. This is going to come together now um, for the sake of life purpose curtain call and then as I say that curtain call acclaim fame recognition parade celebrity admiration applause show appreciation spotlight focused attention theater act performance you're watching a movie big decision has been made offer is accepted the gavel have heart and home a happy home maybe that's a new experience too bliss contentment comfort established fulfilled a legacy, boundaries, affection, heart's desire. And five, nice yacht, adventure, affluence, luxury, mobility, travel, great ease, smooth sailing, over the top, prosperity, comfort, wealth, and extravagance. And then your telephone. Connection, communication, conversation, getting through, two-way street, message, vocal, loud and clear, rings a bell, childhood, it says on the bottom, um, innocence, play, and things like that. All right. So it looks like, I don't know, maybe, yes, it's time for something like this, right? Life's work might involve being on the on the stage. 
or your own talk radio platform. Wow, master number 33 is on the bottom of the deck. I have clear alliance with clear smelling and look at this because it's saying yes. Look at the synchronicity. Clear smelling, clear alliance, but look at that. And what is the sunflower? It's a promise of good uh, future things to come. But it's time. And like I said, oh yes, good. Confirmation, dark night of the soul. It was your path of initiation. Life path number one, you're meant to be the pioneer, ruling planet, the sun. And then numerologist, study of divine numbers. That might be something you're interested in or you've been looking up for yourself. Eight to the nine. I have ascension. Four, 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 and eight. Nine, nine. Oh, this is it. See, this is it. It's time to get to work on the realization of your soul's, soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous. 99. Peaceful resolution I saw, especially if there's something legal. Improving health. Yay. That's always good. Within the next few months, all of this. Timing. Ask for help from others, possibly these friends, because maybe being part of this journey with you. Something not the right time, but like I said, within the next few months, right? So it's about timing. And then a, a yes. And then you will know when it's time for you to take action. It's on the bottom. Oh, I'm glad to flip that. 11-11. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly, truly are. So that's why, that's why we have the reaching out. So this is a beautiful reading for you. Like and subscribe if you did like it. If you need a private reading, I offer those in the description box below is um, the link. And until next time, I'm sending you love. Bye.